Now sometimes we might have installed packages that we don't really require. For example, in this project, my only dependency is on underscore, but if I have a look at the node modules, I have also installed lodash and moment. Now this might be because I wanted to test something or experiment with lodash and moment, but later on I found out that it is not really required. So when I run the npm list command with the depth of zero in my projects folder, it marks lodash and moment as an extraneous package, which means to say that I have the packages in my project folder, but not in the package.json file. So in order to remove these additional packages, we have the npm prune command. So when I run npm prune, it is going to remove all these extraneous packages from our project folder. So I'm going to run npm prune and it is going to unbuild moment and unbuild lodash. And now when I, when I run npm list with a depth of zero, I just have underscore. So anytime you want to remove additional packages that have somehow, somehow ended up in your project folder and you don't really require them, npm prune command comes in handy. Right, that's pretty much what I wanted to cover on NPM Prune. I'll see you guys in the next video.